Hey 3D printer people, John here again with GeoDroid John and I'm back with the Tronxy and as you can see I have printed out the big base case that is on Thingiverse, link in the description. This is the original. I chose it because this has got a pretty small footprint and I want to actually get it, this power box inside of there. So we're going to mount all this stuff inside. I might have to make some cuts on the inside so I can get like uh, SD card access, all that stuff. But I just want to show off what the CR10 did for support. You can see that it printed just like this on the print bed. This is a note for the CR10. This is the support material that came out of the CR10. It is like solid perfect. This is what Simplify 3D. But it printed out just like that. <laughs> Very good support material for Simplify 3D. And if you've been following me, I've been playing around with support material a lot lately. This is two layers gap at 0.2 millimeters. And it looks pretty dang good. So stay with me, and then we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and install this big boy on the Tronxy. X, Y, X1, the little Tronxy. And then I have these little X idlers I'm going to, or Y bed idlers I'm going to tighten down and actually get this machine nice and tight. I'm, I'm kind of low-key obsessed with this little machine just because it's been a while since I've had a little machine and I really like this one. But the CR10 is still kind of killing it up there. There you go, CR10. And let's go! So I've just barely taken apart the first plate and one thing that we will need to add is washers because this head slides right through there. So going to have to grab some washers and plaster those things on there. Anyone that's had a 3D printer for any period of time knows what this box is. This is all the extras. So I've got a heated end here from a printer bot, some belts from RepRap, uh, let's see, more parts from a RepRap, cable ties. Uh, geez, I don't even remember what that project was from. Chain links. You gotta have one of these. This is one in your junk drawer bins. You got knobs in here, springs. So never throw anything away from any 3D printer kit. Always keep all of it. You don't really need to organize it, really. Come on. So we got the washers on there. Now, when you're putting this on, you want to put the big spacers near the keypad and the shorter spacers on the other end near the LCD because the way this thing is designed, you can see that you don't need to take up that much space. So slide that on there and then tighten it down with the little hex nuts. There you go, it's actually installed right now. So let's move on. Actually, it looks really cool. I like the rep rep style, you can't tell by now. So let's move on to the actual mains board. So I freed the mains board from the acrylic. I'm gonna keep it on this last piece of mains or acrylic until I see how I like this box. I might have to make some adjustments to it. So. Just to keep it a little bit more safe, I'm going to leave it just where it is on this plastic. Now, you do have to remove this main power cord. So when you're doing this, you want to remove it like this. You want to go in. If you built this, you already know how to take it apart. But for those of you that don't know, I really like the, what is this machine called? A Melzy? Melzy 2.0. And if I get the video to, let's see. I don't know. Let's go for 50 likes. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot. And I'll tell you about where the rigid bot is and what the heck happened there and what that thing is there if you don't already know. So 50 likes. Come on, people. This is not a hard job. 50 likes and we'll talk about why I'm talking about Melzy and rigid bot. And I might just go office space on the 3D printer. So get the 50 likes. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this thing apart. I'm going to insert it into that drive hole right there. And then we're going to see how this thing looks once it's all inside. And there it all is. I have the main power plug set up in there. You can see from the other side. Motion sickness. It's ready to go. So let's uh, close this thing up and see how it looks all put together. Be careful. This case doesn't really have any way for it to snap together, so I'll have to figure something out. But I don't see any access to the SD card reader, which is the main way I, I print. It's right in there. So I might just cut it out, cut this one out, or do an extension SD card extender and have it just come out the side or on the front or something. So if you have any comments on or suggestions on how to do that, 
and hit me up in the suggestions, the comments, so we can see what's going on. Now let's take a look, see how it looks. Oh yeah. Just kidding, it's actually really light. Look at that. Oh God. One of the easiest upgrades I've ever done in my whole life. Super easy. That looks great. Let's do some B-roll. It looks really good. I'm glad I chose red. I'm gonna start using red instead of uh, other colors on this. You can see I already have some white up there and I've printed this upgrade out in gray, but I'm gonna go with red. Black and red, you can't go wrong. So I'll turn it this way. That's gonna look really good. People are gonna really, they're gonna see that and go, damn, that's a 3D printer right there. Okay, so let me get it all plugged in and see how it works. So everything looks like it went smoothly. It's warming up right now. I'm gonna remove the gold PLA I have in there right now that I was using to make the clock. I'm gonna use this blue PLA to test it. But there are some things I wanna talk about here. Look, look at all this acrylic I saved by 3D printing it. This was like laser cut. I could use this for another project. Got the Tronxy, maybe I'll find a way to mount it. I don't know, we'll figure something out, make it look cool. We'll do something extra with this acrylic. Now we have space for another LCD and Melzi box to go in here. And I think I will use the SD card reader. I'll probably bring it up to the front right here. I can put a box fan in here as well. I don't I don't think I need that, but it's on a heated print bed. So I don't think the electronics are gonna get that hot. So I'm really impressed with this design. I'm gonna tip the designer and um, I'll let you guys uh, see the link in the description and I'll probably put it right here in the text, right here, right there. So that's the guy that made it and there's some remixes. There's another remix where it's on the front, which I would have, I wish I would have made, but I don't think it had my type of controller. And there's one where it's on the other side. So you can use this with any other electronics, but I really like this. The Tronx EXY, very upgradable. Man, I'm just super hyped about this machine for some reason. Next up will be this uh, idler. I'm gonna go ahead and install an idler tightener. Although it is pretty darn tight and I do have my own little secret techniques I use to get it really, really tight. I want to know uh, from you guys, like, what are your experiences with tight belts? One time with the printer bot, I actually tightened the belt so tight on this thing, it just ripped apart. Like, the fabrics, the, f the fibers just ripped apart. So, I, I definitely need some more advice on how to do that because I don't want to over tighten it. So, what are your belt tightening tricks? So, after I moved the cable box on the inside, I didn't redo the cable management. So it kind of looks wonky right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to streamline that a little bit better at another time. But right now, it's looking pretty darn good. Uh, I wanna see your guys' cable management. I'm a, kind of a neat freak when it comes to that stuff. So let me see your cable management. Shoot me a link in the comments. I wanna see your, your channels with your videos. So this little thing's getting all warmed up. It's at 190. What temperature do you guys operate your Tronxies? This is at 190. That was the recommended print temperature for this. I've seen it go up to at least 215. Um, I'm not sure who else out there is running at that temperature. Uh, as it's going, I'm, I'm noticing one thing very for sure. It is much quieter. I don't quite understand the way 3D printers make a lot of noise. I know it's from stepper drivers. But this is much quieter. I don't know why. Maybe it's all the... The, the, the print is absorbing all the absorbing all the vibration but it sounds much quieter than it did before i remember i was showing you guys i would pick it up and it would be very quiet and you'd be like oh wow that's amazing can i move but this one's much quieter hopefully this isn't gonna screw up i have not re-leveled this bed since i last printed so eek let's see and this is just the benchy that was on the sd card and this is why I like really printing from an SD card because you can have like a little library of parts on your machine ready to go at any time. So it's really cool to keep a, a nice, tight, concise library of parts. And then when you're done with the stuff on the SD card, just dump it unless you really think you could like, oh, I want to print this out for demonstration real quick. And then you'll have it. Man, look at that print bed. It is so disgusting. I like that it's just PLA. I like that... It sticks really well in the first layer. Oh my god. 
look at that. Who else out there is a nerd for 3D printing? What are you what are you guys using 3D printing for? For hobbies? What hobbies do you guys like to do? So let me know in the comments. This thing's working great. That looks cool, doesn't it? So high five <laughs> for the 3D printing boxes. Oh, the, there's the fan. The fan's the loudest part. So here's a high five for 3D printing. Thank you, the CR10, for helping me out. You do need a larger printer. So hit me up in the comments if you've got a Tronx CXY and you don't have a machine to print this on. Maybe we'll work something out and I'll make one for you. I just want to hear from you guys in the comments. Let's get to 50 likes. And I'll tell you the story about where is the rigid bot. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. Thank you and have a great night. Bye.